Hi, I'm Angelo Della Rosa with ZGAS Instruments, and today I'm going to be going over our heated enclosure system for the ZGAS Instruments Hydrocarbon and Moisture Dew Point Analyzers. Housed inside our 30 by 36 stainless steel enclosure, we have our dew point analyzer, our sample conditioning system, and our heater core. The sample conditioning system inside the heated enclosure is very similar to the standalone product. The sample gas is introduced via the input port and will then pass through a series of filters to be conditioned. Input pressure is indicated on the input pressure gauge. And then the sample will flow into the analyzer to be analyzed. On its return, it will be reduced in pressure at the regulator and pressure will be indicated here on the output pressure gauge. The flow of the sample will be reduced and will be vented to a safe location via the output port. The high pressure bypass for each of the filters is combined with the sample output and also reduced in flow and vented to a safe area. There is a validation port to introduce a known gas to the analyzer to validate the function of the analyzer. There is also a purge function to purge any entrained liquids that may be trapped inside the analyzer. These will be purged out at high pressure via the purge port on the outside. Inside the analyzer, we have our connections for power and communications. As you can see, these connections have already been established and they're brought outside for the end user to make their connections. For communications, we have our RS-485, RS-232, four analog AOs, and three relays. In addition to the analog and digital outputs, there's also an Ethernet connection and a USB connection brought outside to the interface board. Power for the analyzer and heater is brought in from the outside and is split off at this junction. There is an inline fuse as well as a terminal fuse for the analyzer. As I mentioned before, power and communications have been brought outside to the, these external enclosures. Here we have our RS-232 and 485, our four analog AOs, and our three relays, as well as the USB and Ethernet connections. For power, simply connect your power to the terminal block. This unit is set up for DC power, but an AC power option is also available. For any maintenance or troubleshooting questions, please refer to the manual or feel free to contact the factory. Once again, I'm Angelo Della Rosa with ZGAS Instruments, and thank you for watching.